and welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Gina and in case this is the first time you are stopping by, I am a wife and mother from the Midwest and I enjoy cooking meals for my family and sometimes I film videos of the recipes and I post them here on YouTube. Today you are joining me for another Let's Wing It challenge uh, where basically I'm just going to make something up and we're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm going to use my go-to recipe for mushroom garlic quinoa um, that I usually do stovetop which requires two separate pots um, and takes about like 25 minutes to get done. Um, but I'm going to try to do it in the instant pot. So we are going to be using half of the package of this baby bella mushrooms that I'm going to slice up. So about a pound of mushrooms. Um, I don't know why I have this lemon in the picture because that is totally for our tilapia. <laughs> um, we're going to be using five cloves of garlic, some thyme, some Himalayan pink sea salt, and quinoa and water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get our mushrooms sliced up and get our garlic all minced and I will be back when we pop them in the instant pot to start sauteing them. Okay, so our mushrooms are sliced nice and thin. Um, I prefer to slice my own mushrooms because I feel like they're more attractive and also I just really enjoy slicing mushrooms. Like it's just a very soothing vegetable for me to cut. I don't know, I enjoy it. So you could use the pre-sliced ones if you want, but I didn't. And then I've added two tablespoons of butter to the Instant Pot and I have it on the saute more function. Um, I may add in a drizzle of olive oil, but I'm going to let this go for three to five minutes or until they're softened before we add in the garlic. Well, all right, so it is pretty steamy, but I did toss in our garlic. Um, I also tossed in, while the mushrooms were cooking, about a quarter teaspoon of salt to help them release their moisture. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm going to be adding in a half of a teaspoon of thyme. Just stir that around for a second to release the natural oils that are in the herb. And then now we're going to toss in a cup of quinoa. And I don't rinse it. I mean, you can rinse it if you want to. It's up to you. And then <clears throat> here comes the real wing it part because all the recipes for Instant Pot call for a different amount of water. Like normally when I cook quinoa, I put two cups of water to one cup quinoa, but a lot of recipes are saying a cup and a half and a lot of recipes are saying one cup. So I'm going to add a cup and a half and we're going to hope that that works out. Get everything incorporated. And then I'm going to add probably what would be the equivalent to another quarter teaspoon of salt in here. So probably about a half of a teaspoon total for the whole dish. So we're going to be adding some Parmesan cheese afterwards, which I forgot to pull out. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and put our lid on. Turn our vent to ceiling. And then we are going to hit the cancel function to turn off the sautéing. And then we are going to do manual cook, which is the pressure cook button. Um, and we're going to set it for one minute because that's how long it takes to cook, and then we're going to let it natural pressure release. So I'll be back. The quinoa has finished cooking, but we're going to let it natural pressure release for 12 minutes. So I'm waiting for this to say L012, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I will go ahead and release the rest of the pressure, and fingers crossed we will have awesome quinoa. Okay, so it says LO12. I have released the pressure valve, which there was actually no more pressure in here. And here comes the revealing moment, whatever you want to call it. Did you guys know that this does this? That these little holes are a lid holder? Because I didn't know that until like a week ago. What do we got? It looks okay. Hmm. Looks a little bit less cooked than I would normally have it, maybe? Let's try it. I don't know. It's definitely fine. It is definitely cooked. <clears throat> Excuse me. I 
I'm glad I did not add the two cups of water like I wanted to because it would have been too soggy because this is even a little bit wet. So I'm actually going to add a little extra salt into here. Um, I'll toss a little bit of Parmesan cheese and then put the lid on while I'm waiting for my fish to uh, be done. And I think it'll be gravy. So I'll show you what it looks like on the plate when it's done. All right, guys. So the verdict on our Let's Wing It challenge is that it did actually cook properly in one minute with one and a half cups of water. I mixed in maybe about a quarter mm. cup of Parmesan cheese and maybe another quarter teaspoon of salt, and I thought it tastes mm. great. Let's see what Daniel thinks. Pretty good. This, the, quinoa. the quinoa. Yeah, I just invented it. We're doing a wing it. Pretty good. All right, guys. So mm. we uh, we didn't do the fish, but let's see if he likes it. Mm -hmm. You like Pretty it? Good. Cool. But the king was really good. Um, so I guess our verdict is two thumbs up from Daniel. The girls are, of course, not eating it because they only eat basically fruit and junk food anyways, you know. Um, so if you like this video, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. If you love it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe. Um, I will drop a list of a couple of extra videos up here somewhere, and if you want, you can check those out. And thanks for stopping by. Bye. Wow. Bye. Everybody's so happy. Good night. Say peace out. Good night. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> Bye, guys.